obviously you guys coming off the 9-2 win yesterday, you turn right around and come back home and play here again. Um, just tell me about the scheduling and how you think the team is faring so far this early in the season. Yeah, I mean, a lot of games in a short amount of days, but, uh, you know, this is a time where you think you're pitching staff, you got a lot of arms and a lot of uh, guys healthy, ready to go get after it. So, uh, for me, playing back-to-back -back days isn't a big deal. We're playing four in a row, and, uh, you know, if these guys are going to play in the big leagues, that's what they do. They play every single day. So, um, you know, I talked about it before. We have the midnight rule, so uh, when midnight hits, that, that game's over with. So, we'll um, enjoy this one until midnight, and then we'll get ready for, um, you know, tomorrow's game on a another uh, bad weather day that we go attack a good team and so uh, but yeah good win today uh, you guys are averaging around nine runs per game it seems like you've been hitting the ball particularly well every single time um, just tell me about what you've been guys have been doing uh, to be hitting so well this early in the season yeah I think one it's confidence right now you know our guys are feeling good about themselves I was really proud of them because they're their lefty was really good. He had a really good breaking ball, and, and we knew that going into it, and uh, finally built his pitch kind of up and finally took advantage of an error, and then we started, um, you know, landing on some baseballs. And so uh, really proud. A tough night to score again, and we scored nine. That's a sign of a really good offense. And so, um, you know, usually when, when the wind's blowing out, we score a lot of runs, but when the wind's doing this and we're scoring nine, uh, those guys are locked in right now. And, and the beauty of it is it's not always a home run. It's sometimes a stolen bag or a hit and run or a two-out RBI. And so uh, a lot of different ways to score, which makes you a good team. Coach, you had a lot. You, I was noticing when you uh, when you were dealing with uh, Zeke, he had an amazing performance. And I really didn't think that this uh, this weather would be a factor. Uh, what was your message to him and stuff involving this weather and uh, how he would pitch tonight? I just left him alone. Yeah, so, yeah so I don't I don't get in the pitcher's ways half the time. So now Zeke's got great stuff. He's got a great fastball and great off speed. Um, and so I was anxious to see how he came back after last week's performance, being so good. And so came back out and, and got right back after it and obviously had a stellar performance. And so, um, like I said last week, if he throws like that, we'll win a lot of Friday nights. Uh, obviously, zero to zero or zero to zero going into the bottom of the fifth. You guys turn it around with that big inning. Uh, what does one big inning like that kind of do for your team and the confidence as the season goes on? Yeah, when you're when you're facing a good arm on Friday night, that's sometimes it. It might be the fifth, might be the seventh. Um, you just got to wear that guy out, and eventually they're going to make a mistake, and that you got to get them. Um, and so for us, you just got to stay patient with it. Our guys just kept fighting. They knew the guy had a really good breaking ball. Um, you know, struck out three guys in the first inning, and some looking. And so you just got to keep battling with them. You see them on film, but it's different when you see them in person. And so the more pitches you see, the more you battle, finally a guy gets him and you take advantage of it. And then you can see, once our, once our team gets going, it's hard to get them out. They start having fun and they start getting energy and, and uh, it's a fun team to, to start rolling once they start getting two out hits. Lastly, Ohio State obviously is going to be a tough challenge to go through on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, what can you expect from them as they come back trying to beat you guys after you defeated them today? Yeah, absolutely. That's the beauty of a series, right? They come in, they're, they're going to do everything they can to win tomorrow. Um, I, I like our chances of Levi Wells going to the mound, and hopefully he has another great performance like he did last time. And so, same thing, it's going to be a rainy, cold day again. So it's about the free 90s. You know, today we, we played the better defense. That's why we won the baseball game. Um, and so tomorrow it's going to be the same thing. We come out and play clean baseball, we'll have a chance to win. Another dominant performance for you tonight. Uh, how would you say, like you, how would you say your performance would be in this type of weather conditions, and how you uh, fought through adversity today? Uh, the same game plan as uh, last week, and we're gonna stick to that. It's just execute fastball, execute off speed, and just execute pitches, and uh, make them beat me. And just about, about all I can do. It helps with the wind blowing in, the cold. You know, it's not a, not comfortable for anybody up there, especially in the box. So beat guys in, jam it on their hands, and then beat them away. Uh, what have you been working on yourself, obviously, in the off season and up until now to just improve your game every time? I work a lot here? on my mechanics, uh, trying to get more in my legs, uh, get a little bit more velocity out of it, uh, especially work more downhill. Uh, and that also improved my accuracy with the pitches. Because uh, last year I struggled with walks, you know, finding the zone, and you know I had a little trouble in that first inning or whatever, and I just had to get on top of the ball and start executing pitches. So I didn't know how to do, so. 10 strikeouts in your performance today. Where do you define this performance uh, in your career? Obviously, it was pretty uh, dominant for you. Yeah, it, it feels good uh, to have everything working for me. You know, the, the curveball, the fastball, and the changeup were all working. I didn't have to use the changeup and curveball too much, but being able to show it and then dominate with the fastball and execute pitches. You said you you said you worked on a lot of pitches last season. Was there? Would you say there's more of a difference than it was last season? I know it's kind of too early in the season to recall it, but would you say there's much more big of a difference than what it was last year, depending on this year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, we've made a lot of improvements as a team, coaching staff, players. Like everybody, everybody's improved. I mean, this is a completely different atmosphere uh, in the dugout, and uh, we got a lot to prove to a lot of people. And you know, and we got a great, great team. So we execute. You know, 
that's, that's what happens. So. This pitching staff as a whole, where do you guys see yourselves uh, later on and getting better and towards heading into conferences? Oh, yeah. like where can you improve? I think I think we'll get a lot better. Uh, I mean, it's it's a great start for the pitching staff. You know, guys are rolling in there after our starters and, and throwing strikes. Uh, that's the biggest thing is, you know, because we can't control if they hit it. You know, we throw strikes and execute our pitches and, you know, and that's all it. But, you know, flat ground work, uh, bullpen work, you know, taking everything serious and uh, really realizing the mental game to it, you know, and being able to take breaths and stuff. That's, that's a big deal. So. Uh, obviously, good performance from you out here. You're really the person who started it all off and started the hitting. Um, just seeing your teammates celebrating nine runs you guys are averaging this season so far, I think I calculated. Uh, where do you guys think your success is going to grow behind the plate and hitting the ball this year? Um, to be honest with you, I think we, uh, we've just been sticking with our approach. Even on nights like this where uh, it's a tough day to hit and the wind's going in, you know, it's going out, it's always better. But we've been landing on balls all season so far. And if you just stick with your approach and keep trusting and trusting, they're going to keep falling. Um, I think that's just the most important thing. Even if they're not going out, you got to find another way. So that's what we did. What was their energy like in the bullpen? Because you you guys were just cheering, y'all were just screaming loud and proud and stuff. What was the what was the energy like in the in the dugout after you hit them? Well, the hit? one of the big uh, vitals of the team is, is energy. Always the juice and everything. And I think the guys have been doing a great job. Um, even if they're not in the game, they uh, they find another another role to play in, on the team. And you know you can you can tell the energy makes a difference in the game. So, yeah, it's been huge. This season, what do you think you guys' most successful uh, thing has been, and what have y'all been harping on in practices to just make sure you're ready to play every time y'all come out here? Um, I think it's just trusting each other and, you know, knowing what role, what role you have to play on the team um, and doing what you have to do for the guy next to you. So is it more – so you say more like the brotherhood. How much – how much time do you guys like have and stuff just to spend time with each other like out like off the field and stuff just to like have a better relationship? Well, it, I mean, we have class, uh, <laughs> study hall, you know, all the, all the annoying stuff, but we, we all get the job done and we always find time for each other. So it's always fun. I asked coach, it was 0-0 going into that bottom of the fifth and then you, you guys score five runs uh, quickly, like it turned around. Um, what were y'all talking about in between that time as you had zero going into that inning? What was kind of the conversation that was had to like make sure you guys get five runs like you did? You know, I think we really just wanted to do something for Zeke. The guy was out there pitching his butt off, so um, we, we kept on saying that we got to get him one, we got to get him a couple or something, you know, back him up a little bit. And we just found a way, and it was huge, and it really turned the game around. So.